Yo, YouTube, time for another season of the Splicer Weapon Review. Today, we're going to be talking about the Arc Logic Auto Rifle from the Moon, which was re released with new perks and unsunsetted. So, without further ado, let's hop right into that. Okay, so this auto rifle is a 600 RPM auto rifle. It comes standard with 21 impact, 44 range, 41 stability, 68 handling, 60 reload speed. The aim assist on it is 65 and the zoom is a shitty 16. Uh, so no, zoom's not too bad. The recoil direction on it, however, is really, really good as well as a 47. So magazines usually uh, start at 41 and go up to about 50 if I'm not mistaken. Um, when you have like extended mag or tactical mag on it i believe uh so it, it, it's a pretty decent gun when it comes to regards for like uh time to kill and all that kind of stuff it has a 1.7 time to kill if you can see that and its damage fall off is pretty decent uh, 14 meters 14 15 meters to about 24 meters uh which isn't too bad or I'll rather i should say 23 meters if, if we rounding down or rounding down or rounding up so it's not too bad in those regards um it's it's from the 600 rpm family which it, it, most of those guns have a very 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 good stability on them i highly recommend if you're going to go for one of these weapons look for something with stability so without further ado let's go over what they got on here for the most part they've kept all of the barrels for all for, for the entire auto rifle uh perk pool um here that nothing's changed in that front um, I think the only thing that they've changed is they've taken off drop mag out of the second column here um, and pretty much left all the other magazine perks and uh, round perks in that column. Now for the last two columns, they have completely taken away every single original perk that was on this weapon. And in my opinion here, and I'm gonna give this early, is that they removed a lot of the good ones, okay? Um, so things like outlaw, overflow, subsistence, those are gone don't know why they made this decision but i understand they're trying to refresh the weapon um even though it's reprised i feel like they did this with the intent of with the intent that because this uh content that the weapon is from is probably not going to be around for much longer they didn't want to saturate the perk pool like they have on other weapons that are going to be around for much longer i.e like the vanguard weapons the crucible weapons and the gambit weapons that have a massive perk pool and op tons of options for you to get right so here we have um a lot of the newer perks like tunnel vision heating up uh and frenzy and adrenaline junkie all right now in both these columns here i i like what i'm seeing a little bit here so tunnel vision heating up killing wind surplus feeding frenzy slideways i i think these are all great perks for this gun um and even looking at what they swapped out and replaced them with replaced replaced them with replaced them with i, I can't speak uh even though they even looking at what they use these perks to, to replace or what these perks are replacing it's still some pretty decent options all right now i know you you when you lose subsistence and outlaw you, you're potentially losing a reload perk here which is, is kind of mediocre at this point and then the subsistence is another reload perk but that, that reloads on kills from the reserves um which is a really really good perk but when you have things like tunnel vision heating up and and feeding frenzy it kind of gets subsided with that um now as far as like other, the other perks killing win surplus and slideways they get i see what they're doing here and they're giving you options for both pvp and pve respectively all right now on the final column here with the damaging perks which is typically in this in this column or the utility perks as i like to call them um they've replaced them with a few good options keeping this gun in the reins for you know its utility right so they gave you a drilling and junkie which is, is, is almost like a, a ladder form of kill clip um frenzy which is just a, a constant damage perk similar to rampage except you don't have to build it up it's just naturally procs once you start getting into combat um and then you have your wellspring surrounded which is kind of like an another um rampage or, or or swashbuckler perk uh but instead you have to be surrounded by enemies um kind of it's kind of similar to frenzy but more so it just procs off of you being near enemies instead of you actually being attacked uh, or being in combat um sympathetic arsenal one of the most underrated perks in the game uh which helps you deal more damage with other weapons um and then elemental capacitor obviously i.e like another pvp perk that could you know be used 
for multiple options here, right? All right. So as far as usage with the gun, right? How the gun feels, what it's gonna feel like in your hands and what you know you can expect from it. So if you are not a fan of auto rifles, obviously you're gonna stray away from this, but you might still wanna know, hey, can this thing light me up or light up enemies when I need it to, right? And the question, is, the answer to that question is yes, it will. Um, for me, when it comes to an auto rifle, I'm very, very, very big on stability. And this one is one of those stability auto rifles again um if i'm not mistaken it's sitting in the full no the 600 rpms which i know used to be on top but they got a nerf and then they're like somewhere in the middle now they they're really good in the middle ground all right um i would not sleep on these weapons whatsoever very 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 good stability on them um if you remember if you were around that this long you played the game for this long um this is similar to another auto rifle or a few different auto rifles but this is basically like a reskin of an auto rifle called the ether doctor that was a kinetic auto rifle and this is just a better version of it all right and it's energy so that makes it a lot better and again like i said like as far as uses goes you can get a lot of mileage out of this depending on your role um for me i have a crap role right now so i'm currently in the in the midst of trying to farm this out and get me a better role but right now i have the crappiest role i could possibly get which is a feeding frenzy surrounded in my opinion all right again this is all my opinion don't you know jump on it and be like oh he said this he said this is trash like no it's just it's just two two perks that i would not pair together myself because they're so dependent on you know me being close to an enemy and i'm typically not going to do that i'm going to either be mid-range to, to, to long range with this weapon when i'm dealing with specific certain type groups of enemies first starting off with pve i'm going to give you a few different options here and funny enough on this weapon i have three different options for you that i would like to give up so first is going to be tunnel vision frenzy heating up frenzy and then feeding frenzy frenzy okay should be pretty obvious as to why i would choose those roles specifically for pve um, given that they give me just a supreme advantage of just maximum damage over time. Um, reasons why I don't pick things like Adrenaline Junkie uh, or while I, why would I would not go for Adrenaline Junkie right off the rip. I would I would set, I would substitute that if it's the only thing I can possibly get by the time this weapon is no longer available, then sure, I will settle for an Adrenaline Junkie um, and even a Surrounded, but uh i would highly uh, like my main role that i want to go for is the frenzy because frenzy even though frenzy is a lower amount of damage uh just outright from one one or two shots uh, over time it's a sustainable amount of damage when you're firing off a 50 round clip okay so what's my recommended on this gun and i'm pretty sure i'm muted no i'm not okay <laughs> all right so what's my recommended on this gun right and I do this at every at the end of every video. I pretty much give you, ask you, you know, or have you ask me, essentially, you know, quietly down there in the comments, maybe, uh, is this work gun worth it for the farm? I would say at this current junction in time, yes, it is one of the easier guns to go for right off the gate being that being that it's very easy to acquire the 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 bounties for these guns it's specific to each gun so you don't have to sit here and you know go through an activity and pray that you get the drop that you want of the specific gun that you want you don't have, you don't have to fight too much of rng here you literally are only fighting rng for the perk pool not the gun itself so i think this is a better uh this is definitely a recommended weapon to go for because it's a dedicated farm so that's going to do it for this video all right if this was helpful helping you make a decision as to whether or not to farm this weapon let me know down in the comments below if you like this weapon and you had it before it was before it was reissued um and you want though you want to tell me about that sound off in the comments down below i love to hear you know uh comments and, and opinions and stuff about things going on currently in destiny um keep it civil like always um but that's gonna be do it that's gonna do it for me I appreciate you guys checking out this video and I will see you in the next review. Maybe loud lullaby, probably loud lullaby. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.